Welcome everyone. Welcome back to another episode. And uh, I'm going to get started. As you can see, I've pretty much got the layout really close to match what we carved out earlier. And I think what I want to do is focus on getting some extra components in. Um, the wife and I have been talking, and my initial idea was to do a, a concrete top, because I like the idea of... I really like the idea of having the... Uh, the, the contrast. But something else that was mentioned was why not just have a granite or stone countertop. Now, obviously that's going to be a lot more expensive. So we'll have to uh, kind of gauge and see how far I want to do, how far I want to go with it. So for right now, I am going to work on just a blank countertop. I'll probably make it a three inches thick just for the giggles. And then the next thing I need to look at is uh, getting in place where I'm going to mount for like charcoal and also I can inset the grates. I can actually make some up uh, based on what I looked at. Um, what was it? I think it was last stream or the stream before that. Uh, let's see. And I think those are on the Amazon. Um, but I can do a mock-up. Something simple and easy. And uh, throw that in there and see how it looks. At least just as a guide. Doesn't have to be anything crazy. So, Alright, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some dim dimensions here so that I can make the tabletop. And I think what I want to do is make it overlap mm, like, I don't know, three or four inches. We'll do, we'll do four inches. Make it nice and even. And um, just so you guys know, I, I mentioned it, and I'm, I think that what I'm going to try here is not have these openings. Because I don't really need them, per se. Simply because I'm not doing anything with them. I was going to use them as a dual smoker, but given the space that I've got right here, um, I can actually come up with something else and do uh, some kind of a smoking with this. So we'll have to see how that goes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mock up a, whoops, I wanted to do this. There we go. I'm going to mock up a sketch to kind of get my boundaries. And then I can get the information from there. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have to do it this way. to get some just some well I guess that works it's fine get some rough dimensions here <clears throat> so we're looking at 85 and a half inches across which is pretty huge and then front to back Come on, select the line. Thank you. Oh, you know, I think that went on. 
also have some no I guess that's fine I also was able to set up my um, toolbar the way I like it so that was kind of nice I don't have to dig into this uh, what do they call that command manager because it's a little a little longer or it takes a little more time than I like all right, so 51 inches front to back. And then we have, let's see, from honestly need, okay, I need this line to be different. That way I can get the right information that I want. Um, we'll just go to there. Mm, that's not right. Why is that acting goofy? No. Some of the tediousness of this project has gotten pretty crazy here. Just snap that off. Yeah, something ain't right there. Does it do the same thing over here? That's interesting. Well, we're going to assume it's going to come out because it's e there's just really no way to make that perfect. And that is... Let's do it this way. Twelve. Point five sixty five. All right, don't need that. Not anymore. Now this, <laughs> it looks like I have close to, let's see here. 876 yeah 876 bricks on this so that should pretty much deplete my uh, the amount of bricks that I'll have and I'm not exactly sure like in these big gaps here if I'm going to put just like a little piece in there I'll probably have to do that like when I'm uh, actually building it and see how it's how it works as, as, as before, I've never done bricklaying before, so that'll be something new and fun to, to learn. Alright, let's do a new, pro, a new part. Center line from the board. And what I'll try and do is make this, nope, let's do it this way. There we go, that works. And I'm going to go ahead and make that construction geometry. That's, oh, I forgot it doesn't select the whole thing. <clears throat> there we go. And let's get our dimensions in there. So we have 85.5. Huh? What? 
Did I type something in wrong? Okay, that's different. Why is it doing that? Okay, now it took time. I don't know why it did that. That is pretty freaking weird. Six two plasma. Oh, no. Now we just do this one. Sketch. Oh, I guess I don't have to do it this way. Why is it not? There we go. Alright, let's see if I can trim these out now. Alright, this is going to be... No, okay, why am I understanding this thing? I don't want to merge the points. Why is it being so fussy? Let's try it this way. And it's still not locked in place, huh? Oh, I see. really needs to be from here to here. <laughs> I just don't get it. What in the world is this thing doing? rid of those. Let's try this again. This is really dumb.
that's it's already symmetric. That's symmetric. Why is it going up and okay, that's fine. Let's do it this way. Things and then I'll select the why is it doing this? There we go. I don't know why it was so <laughs> that doesn't make any sense why it did that. Alright, so that's the basic layout, and we're going to offset that. Select chain. Let's see if it grab. Oh, of course, it doesn't. Tell it to select the chain, and it doesn't select the chain anyway. And we want that to be four inches to the outside. Uh, don't need that. And we're going to go uh, three inches. Uh, I want to go the opposite direction. There we go. All right. So what will happen is, is I can place this center, center, and it'll line up really nicely. All right. We're going to do this as uh, UMM. Our top. What? How does that have repo layers? <laughs> what? Maybe I overdid it when I was working on it earlier. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Uh, you know what, let's, uh, can we add, let's see what kind of material we can put on here. <clears throat> uh, t -t 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 not metals, what do they got? Ceramic. Porcelain. What does that look like? Oh, so shiny. Nah, it's a little much. Uh, we can just put something on there. Just to make it look different. <clears throat> Ew, I do not like that at all. That's gross. Doesn't have anything. Okay. All these look the same. Let's just just make it look like concrete. I don't have time for this business. And I think I want to give it. Do I want to do a chamfered edge or a rounded edge? I like rounded better. Honestly, let's do a fillet. And let's see what a half inch looks like all the way around. Really? I seriously have to do this. No. Okay. 
do it that way. That's easier. I forget I can do that sometimes. Yeah, half inch looks fine. And if we turn our lines off, you can get an idea of kind of what it'll look like. The only thing I don't have, because it, it only comes with like the top end, is a photo reel. At least I don't think, whoops, that's not what I want. That's not what I want either. Where is it? No, I do have photo photo view. Let me look at that real quick, see if it... See preview. Huh. We'll do a preview. Add a camera. Uh, we'll turn on perspective view. Why the hell not? Oh, here we go. Ooh, that looks cool. Zoom in. Oh, I can't zoom in anymore. That's pretty slick looking. But that's making my machine go crazy. <laughs> but you can see it. I mean, you can get some really nice, really nice looking stuff in there. What would be nice is if I can do a, uh, get a brick map out. I may have to uh, do that, implement that, and see what it looks like, and see if I can do a photo reel, because that would be pretty spiffy, I think. <clears throat> okay, now, let's look at the cutouts here. Um, you know, let me save this. Let me pop that sucker in. I had the assembly. There we go. And I should be able to do boom. Oh, my Lord. Should be able to link that up. Come on. Oh, come on. Let's see. Where is it? Yep. And honestly, I should put all those bricks in a, uh, move them to a folder so that it doesn't take so long for me to go back and forth on the, on the viewing. Let's do that real quick. I'm going to take all the bricks and put them in their own folder. Take a second, yep. And we're going to add to a new folder. Call that bricks. There we go. That basically just shortens it down to where I don't I ha don't I have so many components on here. And it really doesn't matter. I can pick this one. Thank you. Put these away. Now, I tried earlier to um, make my foundation a little bit bigger. Um, but it looks like I have some things that are tied to this side so it kind of pulls everything apart and out and I just I was like you know what I will leave it like this for now and then we'll fix it later so one of the things that I did let me, let me look at my template here I 
I had a solid wall between these two, and I didn't like that, and I left it all open. And I could actually use a use the tabletop as a separator, and then just control the fire, or control the flame, and where I put my heat source, depending on if I'm doing a rotisserie, or whatever. So let's look at this from the top. And I'm okay with that for now. All right, so let's turn this off. We're gonna hide this and I'm gonna flip it to the bottom. That way I can see where my cutouts are gonna be. And I can gauge from there how I want to actually cut it out. Now it looks like Based on this, I don't have a lot of width, but I got a lot of front to back. And if we look at our, we went left to right more than we did top to bottom because of this. But the way I had to put it together and the way these bricks came in, that's gonna shorten some stuff up. Now the other option Yeah, because that is a lot of stuff that I'm not utilizing. Okay. So what I could do is literally cut all this in half and bring these out. But that will be an extensive redo on this. In which I can make that actually modify as I'm building. I can actually change that out, but I could probably do it off camera, uh, which what that'll end up doing, I can square this out a little bit more, have it button in tighter a little bit, and then that'll increase the width of my arch, making it a little bit more prominent. So let's look at that. What would that give me if I if I brought this over to here? Honestly, that would be I'm not really too uh, too disappointed about doing that, and and I'll definitely do. Basically, I would just take this line and move it to where it this brick lines up with this one, so we'll pretty much have the same depth here on this instead of you know instead of a full brick, it's a brick plus maybe a half. It'll take me some time to re to redo that, but I, I think that's what I want to do. So let's look and see what that does. Let's see. I want to edit this part. And what this allows me to do is I can set up some temporary. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I want to do. I want to create a new sketch. There we go. And basically what I'm doing is I'm drilling down and editing this, my countertop, directly. Instead of going and doing it blind by going to this file and trying to guess where it's at, I can, I can edit it right here. So let's do that. So that'll give this line...
this is where it gets tricky. You can lose your lines real easily. Uh, can I grab these? Yes, I can. Should be this one here. Let me grab that and convert that to. Oh, yep, yeah, it did it. Okay, there it is. And turn that back off. So this will be where my new line goes. Okay, thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and turn that into that. So I'll have some re... re reconfiguring here because this will end up turning all these into half bricks which is this third set of full bricks that you see for this arch for the wood storage these ones in here <clears throat> That's where I'm hitting it. So this will be my other line. Ah, come on. And we'll check that on as well. And this is a guesstimate. <clears throat> so yeah, basically that I'm just taking this whole line of bricks, imaginarily speaking, and sliding it over to where it meets this and it gives me the same distance between them. Uh, you know what, let's do... All right, so that will be my opening, and I can inset a little bit. Let's turn these into solid lines. Let me get a center line going here, and I'll just mirror those over. There we go. That gives me my boundaries. Uh, there we go. Turn that into that. And then what I can do here, let's see. This is my front. And based on this edge, this is where my arch is. So those are full bricks I'll come to the inside of that uh, let's do this project that line on and we'll go ahead and take that as well and project it to there Oh, take those filters off. Okay. okay. I just don't know why it did that. Salad works go home in the front. Alright. That gives me my boundary. That's where my openings will be for the flame. So that's actually kind of nice because this gives me a really good front as a prep prep area. And it's not so bad on the back side as well, which means it's still not as big as I was hoping. All right, so let's do this. Let's do an offset of two inches. This line, this line, oh, 
it's not going to go the same way. Oh, yeah, that's right. And do that. That gives me, what is this distance? And how far from the edge is that? Because that's a little concerning. I don't know. Oh, that's 14 inches. That's not going to work. I mean, I, 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 with a spatula and the amount of reach I have with my full arm. I mean, I, that means I probably won't be able to get past over here. Well, I guess that's, that's not bad. We'll make it work. Let's see. Let's go ahead and trim these out. Just a little bit sketchy here. Oh, crap. Try that again. That's still not as long as I was hoping for. That is a huge ass area for not very much cooking space. That makes me a little annoyed. Well, we'll roll with it. And the only other thing I can think of is to go wider. What is this distance here? 30. 35. Alright, so. Let's do a line. From here to here. And thirty inches. And we'll do another line from here to here. Let's do twenty four inches. That's almost I don't need that much for Oh, I, I, okay, yeah, I actually have to look at my, I have to look at my, uh, my pieces, yeah. So those are, what did we say here? 16 and 15 sixteenths. So this is not going to work. So that's, what did I say, 16 and 15 sixteenths? Or is it 15 and 16 fifteenths? So almost 17 inches. What 
was this thing doing? Why did it do that? That's really weird. I don't know why it just basically thought I got out of the sketch. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Okay, so uh, 16. And we're going to do like an inch overlap on the top side. I'm going to cut out. And then a depth so those are flush with the top. Uh, so let's do well let's see because I need to come in yeah that'll work so let's do uh, 16 inches on this one and that barely puts it over so that's pretty cool and then let's look at my uh, the other dimension on this 8 and 5 sixteenths so okay 8 and 5 sixteenths that's I wonder what the diameter of those are it doesn't tell me does it I don't think Just between these and those. Oh. <clears throat> these ones are a little bit bigger. Yeah, but they're different sizes. I like that. Yeah, what are these? 18 and a quarter. Now yeah, we'll, we'll go with what I have already planned for. Okay, so uh, what did I say? Eight and eight and five sixteenths. <clears throat> Eight and five sixteenths. I don't want to forget that. All right. So, and the other way is sixteen and fifteen sixteenths. What I'll do is I'll just do a quick model of those. That'll be fine. So if I'm doing a full, well, 15 16, so that'll be 7 and 7 16, is that right? And that'll give me Basically, if I do a half inch all the way around, that'll give me a like a quarter inch slop for them to kind of set in and wiggle around. So I think that's right. Oops. So we'll do seven point two four three seven five. That leaves a massive, just a huge ass gap here. <laughs> this is really not turning out the way I had hoped. 
or that I actually intended. Might have to come up with some 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 more modifications to make it a little bit better. But for now, it's 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 it should be fine. All right, let's cut that out. Cut that out. And where's my that out. God, that's so tiny compared to the rest of it. Even when I get, oh man, it's just, I'm really not happy with that. It's screwing up on that. Oh well, I don't know. Let's go back to here and it should update it, yeah. Oh, let me turn off the photo reel. Uh, rebuild it. Now it's going to act dumb. All right. Now we're going to do. Gonna offs offsets. And we're going to reverse that and go half inch. Same with this one. Oh, that's one thing I didn't I didn't see is if how thick those were. I don't think it tells me. <laughs> Oh, heat shields, I don't need those. Let's see. Yeah. By one, oh, they're an inch in diameter? Nah, get out of here. There's no way. Oh, three of them stacked together probably is when it's shipped. Which that makes sense. So I'm going to call, let's see. I'll call them five sixteenths. That's like point three one two five. And it's really close to a third of an inch, which was like 0.3333. So we're just going to do that. We'll do uh, 5 sixteenths. Uh, let's see. Let's, we'll make it, yeah, we'll make it 3 eighths of an inch deep. That way there's, it, it, it'll look like it's slightly lower than the surface. And I can always modify that later to accurately depict what it is that it needs to be in order to, to kind of have that flush appearance. But since we don't have any of those on hand, we'll just go ahead and we'll use logic. So point uh, 375. Let's make sure it's going the right way. Yes, it is. That's pretty cool. 
now can I have don't really need that to be I mean that's just junk more mess good Lord <clears throat> yeah, that looks fine. I could. I mean, I could use like one side as a smoker and one side as a like a small warm-up area. You know how they have those little grills? I don't know. I'm not sure if I would want that or not. So I'd rather have it like up here, but that's not just not going to work. Probably why nobody's done this before, at least that I can tell, is because it's just crazy. Alright. Let's see what that looks like in here. Let's go ahead. Unsuppress that. And that's going to actually, this will shorten left and right, and then this will widen and become bigger. And really, this, like I said before, this is just all open flame. God, that's huge. Front to back. I almost wonder if putting in a putting in a uh, putting in supports going left to right underneath the center of this would be prudent. Like start it um, a couple bricks up, but it ties into this right through here or this wall rather. That way, it's you know integrated. Oh, but if I move that wall, then that shortens the distance. Let's see, what would that be? Uh, select midpoints and here. What was that distance? Yeah, it'd be like 20 inch logs. I guess that's not too bad. Versus I think I was getting close to 24. Yeah, it'll be fine. Just trying to figure out what else I can do with this. I mean, obviously taking some of these bricks out, I could make a smoker area. All right, you know what? Enough being disappointed. Let's save that. Let's look at this. Now, um, let me, uh, let's go ahead and we'll make these grates real quick. Uh, let's see. 16 and 15 sixteenths. Nine three seven five. That's what I thought. <clears throat> and they are eight and five sixteenths. Six, oh, but it's round. I could probably do some kind of a I could probably figure out how to fake around. All right, I'm going to slide this 
to the other side of the screen real quick so I can kind of keep an eye on that feature. That way I can, uh, whoops, zoom up. It's, oh, it doesn't have any one of those individual. And we have Funky 45. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four. Whoops, Jesus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So ten gaps. that to the uh, like 16 that's pretty honking big oh my goodness and let's go ahead and put in that cut out no I need mm, mm. Let's see, 8 and 5 sixteenths, and they're 15 sixteenths. See, I have 11. I wonder what it is in millimeters. I could probably make it faster doing millimeters than I can. Um, than I can with um, inches and fractions of an inch. What's this? So I have 10 spaces, so I need Let's try this. Let's see. This is just as bad. Okay. Oh, yeah, let's use that tool. Let's see, um, I want, can I do it this way? <laughs> I thought one could do an overall how many you want within a given amount. Yeah, that's not what I want. Shit, that's not going to work. All right. <clears throat> And I think I need this to be five sixteenths. That's the thickness. Okay. 
could be thinking about this wrong. Bear with me, peeps. Then we have a gap. Let's do it halfway and then we are, that'll be quicker. And let's see, we got we got eleven, so there'll be one in the center. Let's make sure one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yes, eleven. So one will be in the center. So I'll need this one here to be half of five sixteenths. Oh, that actually, okay, that, okay, yep, that did exactly what I wanted it to. Let's slide those over, and that means I need... One, two, three. I need one, two, three, four, five spaces in between. Okay. Just in case this looks like it's a little bit too thick and I have to readjust that, I can just do one. All right, one more series. It just looks really thick. 
What's the distance between some of these? So if I got, I think I'm gonna have to change that to a quarter inch. <clears throat> All right, so let me do some math here, because I'm just going to have to change this back to inches. Thank you. All right, from here to here. Points, five, six, two, five. And we're going to subtract one, two, three, four, five. So that's one and a quarter, 1.25, okay, 1.65 minus equals, and we need one, two, three, four, five. So those spaces should be that number. Let's see if that works. Point five eight one two five. In case I've goofed up on the math. I might have to do six spaces. I don't rem remember. No, that should be right. Yay, math. Now this should be... Oh, that's not right. Okay, something went goofy. Let's try... That's 1.25, and we'll divide that by 6. That's probably what it's supposed to be. Nope. Okay, what did I do here? 1, 2, 3, 4, Oh, that's what I did wrong. It's five and a half. So that's one and an eighth. That's what it is. 1.125. That's what I did wrong. Six zero six two five. Okay, this is pissing me off. This should not be this fucking difficult. What is the problem? This doesn't make sense. I'm getting higher numbers. Three six. What is this number? Point three five six two five. And that needs to be God, come on. Oh, that's I'm a 
quarter of an inch off. So I'm taking off too many. One, two, three, four, five, six. Five and a half. One point three seven point. Aha, success. That's what I did. I was only counting one, two, three, four, five and a half. And I miscalculated that I was doing four and a half. So five and a half is 1.375 minus the full. Then divide by five, that gives me my 55, 625. So all is happy in the world. Sometimes it takes me an hour or two to get it right. <clears throat> All right, now what I'm going to do is we're going to make this, so let's see. Um, here. There. And that has three slots one two three four stems I'm not going to worry about that little funky doodad. I'm just going to make them straight, make it easy. It's taking way longer than I wanted it to anyway. <clears throat> all right. So these all get sent back. Goes away, which means I'll need to make. Oh no, shit, I'm doing that wrong. These will go away. So I'm cutting the insides out, not the bars. Excellent. And we've got to figure out that distance. Whoa, hello. Uh, that was 16 and 15 sixteenths. So fifteen point nine three seven five minus one two three four. So minus an inch. Oh. And divide. 
divide that by 3. That should be from here to here. 4.9 Probably wrong on that because it looks like it's that to that. Now, this should give me the right distance between here to here, and it does not. I'm like an inch off. Why? One, two, three. I don't understand. One, two, three. Oh, I wrote it down wrong. It's 16 and 15 sixteenths. Five point three two five. There. Helps if you write down your numbers right. Alright, let's cut these bad boys up how they're supposed to be. That means these goes away. That goes away. That goes away. Okay. Oops. Boom. And we do this, that, and we mirror that over. Boom. All right. And you know, I think I might, I'm going to keep it that way. And let's do a See if we can't round these up a little bit. Um, I'm thinking a quarter of an inch would be too much. Let's point two and see what that does. Oh. Oh, no. Point one. And I don't. I isn't. Oh my god, this is so annoying. There we go, that's what I want. Okay, so let's take this and this out. And let's grab. Oh, that's hard to see. It. Can we come on? Oh, I should be able to pick that. All right, let's see what that looks like. Hopefully, I don't crash it. Uh, you know what? That looks good enough. Oh, I did not name this. We're going to just Oops. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> I really didn't think it was going to take this long. 
All right, let's bring those in. Maybe. There we go. Yep. Then let's go ahead and make this bad boy. Right plane to right plane. Center that up and then we'll see how many I need for the left and right. Any day. Great, thank you. That's awesome of you. Um Hello. Did I make that clear? Oh, I did. Still in set. Oh my god, this is annoying me. Isolate those out. And I'm going to suppress that so I can pick it up. Oh my god, come on. Should not take this long. Thank you. Squeeze that in there. Do not error out, please. Thank you. Bless your kneecaps. We'll unsuppress that and bring it down. Boom! <clears throat> so it looks like I can get maybe two and a half more in there. Might be able to do four. What is this width? Thirty one point seven five and three of them was twenty four. Let me look at this again here. Whoops. Twenty four and fifteen sixteenths. And if we add another Eight and five sixteenths. That gives me eight, nine, fifteen. So that's four. It gives me thirty three and a half. So it's just slightly under. So that means I'll have to do some backwards design and push everything out so that I can get four pieces in without any issues. And then what does that do for this here? Let's look at something here. Oh. 
back to that surface. What's this gap here? I need a dimension on that so I can just match it to. So it looks like I can pretty much get two in there. Uh, not quite, but pretty close. I could almost get two in there. So yeah, that'll be a good way to do that. I should be able to make that to where I can get two of those in there and four of those in. Or I guess I can do three and shorten that in. Then again, if I'm using this as a rotisserie type thing. Hmm, I wonder how the best way to do that would be. I mean, this could be just, uh, honestly, I can make this another, the same size, and I can have basically two cooking areas front and back so I can put my rotisserie anywhere. Hmm. I think I have some, some some things to think about here. For now let's just do this. Why? Why why why? have enough. Or I could actually keep this how it is instead of doing a whole bunch of modification. I can just add some, add uh, another thing in there. Sorry people, I don't know. sunk in there, didn't it? Yep. Let's get that corrected. Good dimension. Any day now. Thank you. That's actually kind of cool, honestly. What that means is I can go back and, like, resize these openings where they actually match what I've already done and then I won't have to do really any redesign. only thing that's thrown this off is the um, is trying to use these this way which I can probably get away with modifying that to make it work 
All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take a, a few minutes, stretch the legs. Actually, you know what? Let me just turn that back on because that looks actually pretty cool. Well, it's not going to give it to me because, yeah, the graphics is goofing up. Uh, all right, let me close this out. Close that out since I don't need it. And let me reopen that, and it'll look better. There we go. Well, maybe. Yeah, it's going to take a few minutes because, yeah, there we go. All right, we're going to leave it just like that. And what I'm going to do is take a few minutes, go on a break, and then see if I can. Oh, get a. Uh, I think I'll do a uh, custom. Firefox. Well, it won't be a box. It'll be just another grate that can be removed. You'll see what I mean. All right. Be right back in a few minutes.
All right, and we're back. All right, so what I want to do next then, let's turn this. Let me grab them in here. Oh, why did everything come in as? Yeah, it probably came in as uh, lightweight because I got so many pieces in here. In order to save this, I might have to create some sub-assemblies from this stuff and bring it in so that uh, it's not so taxing on my system. All right, let's turn these, whoops. Oh, for Pete's sake. Okay, let's do this again. Let's uh, hide those for now. And what I'm thinking is, All right, what can we do here? I would like to be able to have a charcoal pan that stays out of the way. Let's see here, how can we do this? The other thing I'll probably have to do is um, have like a uh, one of those fireplace meshes across the front for safety when I'm using this as an open pit uh, wood burner. You know what the crazy thing is, is I could probably even add a billow in here and have this even be in like a blacksmith type thing as well. I thought about doing that. All right, let's think about this here. If I come in this level that will be uh you know what let me turn this off for a minute and let's look at this okay that'll show so if I come here think that would be fine. And we have, yeah, I think that'll be my best bet. All right, so here's my thought. Here's my plan. Let's make that a half inch. And let's see, the bricks are, I gotta look and see what those thicknesses are, I forget. Oh, why is it still trying to? I've got so much going on, it's really having a hard time with it. Right, so. Three inches will be fine. Minimum of three inches plus, let's say, oh, you know what would be better? Yeah, well, you know what? Let's do it that way instead. I was thinking about having uh, tabs go out so you can set the shelf on, but. It'll honestly be more like a permanent fixture that great. Because I, I won't really need to remove it or anything. So I'll, I basically I want it to span between. Basically when I 
get up to this level here with my brick laying. Then I'll place the whole steel grate in place and then basically cover it over and then lay bricks on it. So it'll be, it'll be um, tied into the construction of it, tie everything together. At least that's my thought process. So let's get some dimensions here. by 33 and we're going to cancel that sketch no 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 I don't want it on the front plane I want it on the top plane Now, do I want to do if I do a half inch? Yeah, I'll just do it that way. It's thirty eight front to back. this way. Okay, now <clears throat> mm, you know what? What's the standard size of charcoal briquettes? Uh, dimensions, that's a better word. Oh, that's the bag. <laughs> yeah, it's giving me the bag dimensions, not the actual. Oh, here we go. Three inch by one inch by two inch. <laughs> So I need to at least have a nine. Well, I could probably do a 15 sixteenths. Let's see, three quarters would be 14 sixteenths. So yeah, we'll do a three quarter inch spacing in between. That way they can't fall through if they land on the grill like that. Oh man, come on, there we go. All right, so three quarters of an inch. So that's what I need. And I think I'm going to model this as half inch, a half inch grate. And it can be it can be square. It doesn't have to be rounded. All right. So let's do this. 
I'm going to make all of these like that, and I'm going to offset in. Oh, you know what? I need to double check something. I actually want to, let's look at this width. It's 51. one by 30 so we'll go 50 by 30 no 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 mm -mm. nope I have to accommodate for the whoops I have to accommodate for this right here so it'll have three points go up to there 42 42 is good Forty-two. all right that's better that means there's a that's a lot of damn charcoal I can put on there So I want at least the front end, this end will be solid. So we're going to save that geometry. And I will have three inch protrusions all the way around. So let's go ahead and offset three inches. Go this way, that way, that way. All right. All right. What I'm going to shoot for then that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to need. Let's see how how do I need to do this here? Need now we need another half inch in. Let's go ahead and close these ends off. out okay now that whoops oh come on cooperate with me here 
Okay, and then I need... This is going to take a minute because I'm actually doing the whole thing instead of just doing halfsies on it. Ah, I forget where I'm at. Okay. Uh, 0.5. Mm -hmm. Oh, for Pete's sake. They really need to fix this where you can do multiple offsets. It'd be so much nicer. Alright, that, that gets away. So far, so good. Eight. Okay. And then I should be able to. <laughs> Excuse me. the thing. I'm not 100% sure. Hmm. Yeah, we'll just keep rolling with it. take forever. Uh, I need Z. Where do we go this way? No, wait, what? Wait, what? What is it doing here? Yeah. I'm a little confused. Okay, I don't. Why is it doing that? I don't know. Entities, this and this. What? What? Point no, we're at point seven five. There we go. Is it because that's not the axis I needed? I must need the y axis. I don't get this sometimes. Understanding why this is doing this. It's going left to right. I need it to go down. Alright, so we'll do one here. There we go. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm Oh, no, 0. 0.75 plus the 0. 0.5, so, ah, come on. There we go. Ooh, that's really close. I may have to modify the overall size of it to make sure it fits. 
That's right on there, too. Is that right on that? I'm okay with that. Now, let's see. There we go. Snaps that bad boy in place. This is off a little bit. Yeah. Aww. Honestly, give them from the center out. Yeah, let's see here. Hmm. Just seriously, is there an easy way to do this? So I had fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So this is seventeen. Wait a minute, what? Fourteen got me all the way up to here. I don't understand. Why is it doing this? Let's do All right, Let, let's take this out. Let's try something a little different here. Should be able to do the x axis. Why is it not? It doesn't want to do what I have. Mm. This is so dumb. Okay. 
think one of these I'll just get rid of that. Okay, let's annoying me. modify those to come up to there and then that'll be okay no out just take that out fact. Oh my goodness, come on. Why? Why won't it let me select? This is so stupid. Thank you. Jesus. How in the ever loving fuck is that possible? Oh my goodness, this is so stupid. Come on, go the fuck away. How is that not the center? Oh, that's why. Okay. Alright, 
let's rethink this. <clears throat> okay. So Whoops. Seriously. I hate this game. Or I hate this software sometimes. to be so fucking picky. Oh my god. There's my silicone. Alright, let's try this again. All right, I'm happy with that. Just go ahead and do the same thing.
Alright. Hopefully you guys can see where I'm going with this. That took long enough. That's a stout grate there, boy. I think I want to run a. I think I do want a center line. Since so 33. Yeah, let's do that. Um, oh. There we go. That looks better. We'll save that as a uh, uh, fire grate. I'll, I'll have to find some things like this, or I'll have to have something custom fabbed. Why did I put it there? That's not what I asked for it to do. Oh my god, that's... Alright, so we're gonna do this. Give me that. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And then at the bottom here. There we go. Gonna put that right. I think right. What did I say? Has to be on that plane there, I believe. Yep. I may 
have to now seal that up. That'll be fine. Let's turn these other bad boys on. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I'm digging it. I'm actually kind of liking how this is turning out. I just wish there was more I could do in through here. That would make sense. All right. Well, so far, she's coming along. Ah. Honestly, I think this will be probably the last I'll do on this because, I mean, All I really have to do is is fit these, leave this alone, how I got it, because I really like it. And I can fit these and squeeze these grates in, uh, or fit the opening so the grates will get closer together. And what I'll probably have to do is figure out how to fix this. But I mean, from a design aspect, that's pretty much what I've got. I, I'm not 100% happy with the just the sheer amount of space that I've got that I that's really mostly for fluff. I'm not happy with that. But as far as this design goes, I'm pretty much finished with the design part of it. I mean, a lot of this would be modified as time comes um, to better fit or, or maybe if I find you know better uh, better uh, better components um, and and I may come back and revisit this a little bit later and if, if something sparks my interest you know maybe I'll want to add a feature to where I can put in to where I can use this as a the blacksmithing tool as well maybe maybe that's what this back end is for and I can modify it to where I can have one side be my um, rotisserie and the other side be a smoker I mean you know there's a lot of things I can do with this but I think what I need to do is kind of sit on it call this good for now and next week come up with something brand new which is going to be really exciting and uh, basically called this one pretty much done until either I see something that I want to integrate into this design or if I want to change this a little bit to accommodate some more ideas. Uh, but anyway, that's it for tonight's show. Um, look forward to next week. Something of will be some craziness. Uh, should be fun. Should be a lot more exciting than watching me lay bricks, that's for sure. A lot of theory uh, for next week is coming up. And uh, that's all the hints I'm going to give. So until we meet again next week, everybody have a wonderful and safe time. And um, I'll see you all later. Have a great night, everybody.